Getting straight into the top five news stories of the day. The new edition of the French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo is on sale today. The cover features a weeping caricature of the Prophet Muhammad and the words all is forgiven at the top along with a Je suis Charlie sign. Now this newest cover has drawn renewed threats on various websites towards the publication. Word is the surviving staff worked to get a record three million copies printed in several languages. It's been one week since Islamic extremists stormed the Charlie Hebdo headquarters and murdered eight of its journalists. The magazine was specifically targeted for their caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad. The first two pages of the issue contain various drawings done by the slain cartoonists to honor them. And back home, things are about to get more random and the lines just a little bit longer at airports across the country. The Department of Homeland Security says they are stepping up security in the wake of the dual attacks in Paris and a new publication by Al Qaeda to its followers. The Secretary of the Department of Homeland says the publication contains the most detailed and potentially lethal bomb recipe to date, but it's important to note officials say no credible threat has been made against the U.S. Now in other news, in Ohio, bartender with a history of psychiatric illness and a serious problem with House Speaker John Boehner has been indicted after threatening to kill him. The man has been identified as Michael Hoyt and he used to be a bartender at a country club in Ohio where apparently he served Boehner drinks. Now records show Hoyt was fired last fall. Officials say Boehner has been made aware of the situation and thanks Capitol Police and the FBI for all their work. And of course, tax season is just about here and the IRS is warning that it may be just a little bit slower to get your refund this year. That's because the IRS's budget has been slashed and officials say it will take them longer to do their jobs. But the one silver lining to this story, a fewer resources means less audits, possibly. Uh, I'm just saying it's possible, but let's be honest, probably not likely. All right, last in your top five headlines. In a recent interview, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee accused the president and first lady of double standards when it comes to parenting, saying they shelter their daughters, yet they let them listen to Beyonce. So the comments came while promoting his new book, God, Guns, Grits, and Gravy. Huckabee also made comments about Beyonce and Jay-Z, saying the rapper exploits his talented <clears throat> wife like a pimp. What? Oh boy, we should know what Mike Huckabee has said. He is exploring a possible 2016 run for president. What? Won't be hard to guess what issues he'll run on. Uh, the First Lady's office had no comment, uh, of course, to all this craziness. Uh, what do you guys think about this? I don't want comments? an old-fashioned man like that running our country. Boom. Old-fashioned. And there it is. That is old-fashioned. But what? Also, you know, a word of advice to Mike Huckabee. Uh -huh. The, oh, there's a thing go. called the getting... beehive. Mm -hmm. There's a Beyonce fan. Not fans. a hairstyle anymore. It's not okay. a hairstyle. Uh, there's a lot of them. There's and a they whole vote. lot of them. And it's an army. Uh, if, yeah, if you're going to run for president, you may not want to <laughs> mess with the beehive. You know? No, don't mess They'll with that. They'll come after you. You All get right. the majority vote with <laughs> yeah. the right. fans. Exactly. Or